Hi guys, welcome back to another Brandy and Jack's Excellent Food Reviews. How you doing everybody? I'm Jack. And I'm Brandy. So today we just have a quick little video, just a little fun one. Uh, our granddaughter is doing a fundraiser for school and they are selling Mackinac Island fudge. No, I'm not trying to sell you anything because somebody <laughs> may have lost their mind and bought every piece of fudge that was available. Yeah. For those of you that aren't familiar with Mackinac Island, it's a, a small tourist island between Michigan's Lower Peninsula and Upper Peninsula. Uh, you take a boat out there, there's no motorized vehicles on the island. They're famous for their down home goodness and uh, they're famous for their fudge. So if you're going to have fudge and it says Mackinac Island on there. Expect to pay an arm and a leg. That's true, but Hopefully it's good because yeah. they are known for the fudge. It's usually good. Sometimes, it usually is. sometimes yeah. you get a little stinker, but yep. okay. So this is what's this guy's name? Devon's Mackinac Island Fudge Company, mm -hmm. or is it just the F Mackinac Island Fudge Company and Devon Dunn? Devon's. I'm not sure who Devon is. Okay, we don't know who Devon is, but this guy. is from the Mackinac Island Fudge Company. Could which, be an employee that stamped his name on the uh, on the presses that day, and now he's not even working there. We don't even it's know. It's only on three of the four packages, so we don't know. Is it really? Yeah, this one's not Devon's. Oh it, wait, maybe it, it is. is. Oh, it is. My bad. Blind Brandy strikes again. All right, let's get on with this. Sometimes you're blind, literally. Sometimes. Okay, so the first one we're trying because we're gonna try all four flavors. Mm -hmm. Is chocolate almond fudge. Okay. Whoops. I just got away from me. So, in the nut world, Brandy, where mm -hmm. do almonds rate or rate or rate on your scale? Um, I would say high middle. Okay. All right. I'm, th I'm thinking almonds are kind of down there for me. Yeah. I've got the cashew. Like low middle or the bottom. Well, I've got the cashew, mm -hmm. the walnut, the peanut. I think almonds are kind of kind of down there for me. I say now peanut would be bottom of the barrel for me. Yeah. Come on, shove it in your mouth. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, so right off the bat, this one is so smooth, mm -hmm. which is pleasant because sometimes you'll get a bad one that's a little grainy. Yeah, nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. It's got a delicious chocolate flavor. I almost said fudgy. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, I definitely give the chocolate almond fudge a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up also. It's got small small almond pieces, not huge chunks. Yeah, very small, which is and, nice. Uh, yeah, very tasty fudge. I would eat it again. I would, mm -hmm. if I if I saw this in a fundraiser, I'd buy it. I'd buy it again too. Tasty fudge. The next one, maple pecan fudge. Now, I'm for a, all our Canadian fans. Yeah, I'm a fan of the pecan. Butter pecan may be my favorite ice cream. Oh yeah, very high on so my. So I'm kind of hoping this is uh, butter pecan ice cream esque. Mm -hmm. So I can tell already this one has kind of big pieces mm -hmm. of nut in it, mm -hmm. which is not appealing to mm. me. Get a little maple syrup smell here. Well, are we ready? It is maple. Bam. I was a little bit grainier than the first one. Mm -hmm. Much sweeter too. So much sweeter. Mm -hmm. But delicious. I wouldn't turn that down. It does give me the butter pecan ice cream vibe. Yep. Yes. With maybe a, a little heavy on the, like a maple syrup little mm -hmm, flavor. Mm -hmm. But it's good. I'd buy it again. I'd eat it again. I probably Same. will eat it again today. You can't eat as much of that as the first one. That's right. Thumbs up for that one. Definite thumbs up for that one. Bang around. Okay. The second one is a flavor I've never had in my life. Oh, okay. It's a Snickers in Mackinac Island fudge. Okay. I've never heard of this. Are you I've a fan heard of the Snickers? Um, You'll eat a Snickers, but normally you don't buy a Snickers, right? Correct. Okay. Right. I've heard good things about this, but I personally haven't tried it. Okay. Okay. Pick your pick your piece. I'm gonna go with this one. To save time, I opened them and I cut pieces off prior to That's this. That's right, because we're on a time schedule. Well. You ready? Yep. Oh, right off the bat, no, thank you. Now I line these up from what I thought would be my favorite to my least favorite. Mm -hmm. And so far, I'm spot on. Uh, literally, I mean, if somebody gave me a bite of that, I'd think Snickers. I mean, it's tastes just like a Snickers bar. You get the peanut, the caramel, the chocolate flavor. I like it. It's good. But the peanut is very fake. Mm, that's it's a peanut flavor. I in think, the I peanut, think it's fine. in the peanut chunks, mm -hmm. 
almost taste bitter. Hmm. Like they've well gone off or are almost Sometimes gone Snickers off. has that flavor too. Um, True. Probably why I don't I, care I like for it. it. I give it a thumbs up. But it's probably my least favorite among the first three that we've tried. Yeah, I give it thumbs down. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely so far my least favorite of the three. Okay. All right. The last one, I think if I have to predict, I'm absolutely going to hate this. But you like Reese's? Touche. Touche. Yeah. So this one is peanut butter chocolate fudge. Again, mm -hmm. it's Devon's. Hello, Devon. Let's let you look at it. It's pretty. Right. This is probably one of the prettier out of the bunch. It is. It's a half and half. You get mm -hmm. the, uh, the fudge side and the peanut butter side. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting the bigger piece this time? Yeah. Okay. Because you want to see me suffer? Yes. Oh, this does not have as bad of a smell as the other one. Mm. I may be wrong. Wow. I don't know if I came in with such low expectations that that surprised me. Delicious? No, not by any means. Mm -hmm. Edible? Yeah. I don't think I'm loving the peanut butter flavor of that. It's got an odd peanut butter flavor. See, now I think it's way better than the Snickers one. I think, I think maybe a little better than the Snickers. Mm -hmm. I'd probably put this one in third place. I agree. Mm -hmm. I would go chocolate almond, Mm -hmm. Maple pecan, mm -hmm. then peanut butter, mm -hmm. then the Snickers. That's exactly how I would go in my order also. Yeah. Great minds think alike. Thumbs up to all four for me. Just uh, there's an order that they go in, a pecking order, if you will. Definite pecking order. Mm -hmm. And like we said. I was pecking. I know. I thought oh. it was funny. It was, <laughs> okay. It was funny. Um, if someone in your area is doing a, a fundraiser. Fu a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Spend your little three bucks. Support the kids. We're all, or about, your, or we're all about the kids. All about the kids. All about or the kids up in here. Bucks. So yeah, let me tell a story. So we went to the grandkids and she's like, want to buy a piece of fudge? And normally... That's the way she talks too. Yeah. It's a little irritating. Sometimes. Normally I'm the grandma who's like, meh, no. I'll buy a candy bar, but mm -hmm. I don't really want that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Something in me said, buy every single one she had. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because I'm not a huge fudge eater. Mm -hmm. Like I'll eat a piece of fudge at a holiday. But what did she have? She had 13 to begin with? 13 to begin with. 13 of these. And I was going to buy them while well, she had previously sold three of them. Mm -hmm. So I almost had $40 worth of fudge. Yeah. But I ended up walking out with, what was it, 30 bucks? $30, 30 bucks worth, worth of fudge. fudge. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it, it, I got to big stuff it. I felt really good. Yeah. And actually for a, for a kid's fundraiser, mm -hmm. for $3 for a piece of this fudge, and it's it's good quality, is actually a really good price. Mm -hmm. It's not like you paid $5 for some off-brand candy bar that tastes like wax. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's a good point. A lot of yeah. times those candies are kind of garbage. They are bottom of the barrel. Yeah. You know, it costs a company, you know, cents. 0.3 cents percent yeah. of a penny to make it. And then they but, charge you a dollar for like yeah. four little squares. Yep. So I can't read this. This is too little for me. Can you read how much that weighs? It's a good size. I uh, mean, I can't because it's it's I hefty. Know. It's two. They're two ounces. Oh, two ounces. Two That's ounces. not bad for a mm -hmm. fundraiser. No, not at all. I mean, if you go to a to any of these fudge places, you're gonna pay mm -hmm. six, seven, eight dollars. Oh, fudge is very yeah. expensive, especially you know they put the Mackinac Island name on there, and that mm -hmm. like doubles the price. Yeah. So. so overall, support the kids. Buy your fudge. That's right. Or whatever your local kids are buying. All right. Have a good day. See you next time, children. Like, comment, share, subscribe.